Today, we are accomplishing a piece of legislation that in its totality will bring paid sick leave to nearly a million workers and bring sick leave to over a million workers in the city of New York. The City Council Speaker, Christine Quinn, on Friday announced an agreement that will make thousands of New York companies give paid time off to sick workers. From April next year, companies with more than 20 workers must give them five days paid sick leave, later falling to companies with 15 workers. This is Stephen Farrell for the New York Times at City Hall, where some campaigners welcomed the hard-fought compromise. It came after a three-year battle in which Ms Quinn used her position as Speaker to stop city lawmakers from voting on a proposed bill. Did your organization get everything it wanted? Um, this bill is not everything it, we originally had asked for, but it's a fantastic deal. It's, I think it's a com as far as compromises go, it's fantastic. We're very, very happy with it. Um, it includes everyone in New York no longer has to be afraid of losing their job because they, have, because they take a day off. So there are some workers that, are, that have unpaid sick days. Um, and we would love to see every worker in New York have paid sick days. The sick leave issue has come up time and again during Ms. Quinn's recently launched campaign to be the next mayor of New York, and one of her chief Democratic rivals lost no time in accusing her of being one of the main obstacles to something that should, he said, have happened a long time ago. But the bottom line today is, we saw Speaker Quinn cut a deal, a deal she tried with all her might to avoid agreeing to, but the voice of the people was too loud, and she finally had to agree to a bill. But it's not a bill that does what New Yorkers need in terms of reaching all the people who need it now. Mayor Michael Bloomberg has already said that he will veto the legislation because it increases costs to small businesses in a tough economic climate. The mayor and I have disagreed on two things this week. Okay. We've agreed on a lot more things this week. We'll agree on a lot more things next week. I suspect we might disagree on some things next week. This isn't about politics. This is about policy. When Mike Bloomberg and I agree, we'll agree. When we disagree, we'll disagree agreeably. And that's governing. Yes, sir. What happens if the mayor uh, We override the veto. Michael Grinbaum, a New York Times reporter, has followed the issue and says Speaker Quinn is likely to reap some political benefit from this deal. There was a lot of applause for Christine Quinn today at City Hall, but she reached this point under duress. For three years, Ms. Quinn has blocked this bill from coming to a vote, but she's been facing increasing political pressure from her rivals in the Democratic primary for mayor. Ms. Quinn has now eliminated a major political liability in the mayor's race. Her opponents can no longer hammer her for blocking the paid sick leave bill. The real winners today may be the advocates who have fought for years to bring this progressive legislation to fruition in New York City. They say it's a milestone in their national movement.